Okay, good morning, all of you. See, so last class given how to prepare carbonyl compounds. What are carbonyl compounds, aldehydes, and ketones? So, carbonyl compounds, these are obtained first one based on oxidation process that is given. Oxidation. If the primary alcohols are oxidation, we get corresponding aldehydes. Secondary alcohols are oxidation, we get the corresponding ketones. So, second one. Aldehydes and ketones are obtained from geminal dihalides based on hydrolysis process. If you can take terminal gem dihalides or hydrolysis, we get the corresponding aldehydes. Otherwise, if you can take non-terminal gem dihalides, hydrolysis, we get the corresponding ketones, okay, that is given. Next one, third one from alkenes, see this. From alkenes based on ozonolysis process. So first thing, what is called ozonolysis? Here, unsaturated compounds like alkenes treated with ozone followed by zinc dust with water. Zinc dust with water. We get the corresponding carbonyl compounds. It is called ozonolysis process. So this ozonolysis process, we get carbonyl compounds, aldehydes and ketones. So generally here, ethene, alkene, reacts with the ozone. First we get a cyclic ozonide, followed by it is hydrolysis with zinc dust. Here H2O combined with oxygen, replaced as a H2O2. Okay, further, the peroxy bond breaking cell takes place. Through that, we are getting corresponding carbonyl compounds like this. I have given different examples. Okay, now, see. So, based on ozonolysis process, we prepared the aldehydes and ketones. So generally, objective point of view, directly we can say the corresponding ozonolysis products. For example, see, if they are given like this, alkene given here reacts with the ozone and ZN and H2O is given. What is the product? So immediately we can say alkene with ozone this process is called ozonolysis. Okay, here double bond is there. Generally, this bond is breaking here. After that, this left part combines with oxygen. We get aldehyde, ethanol. Very good. Remaining this part combined with oxygen, we get CH2O. It is nothing but formaldehyde, methanol. These are the direct products, ozonolysis. Otherwise, if okay, if I have given, see this, this is the one of the alkene. If they are given, it reacts with ozone followed by zinc dust and water. Now, so byproduct, common byproduct is the H2O2. So main products, carbonyl compounds. Very good. 
in this process we are identified directly see this where the double bond is there okay here these two carbons between double bond is there now so if this carbon having hydrogens are available at least to one the part converted as a always aldehyde so this carbon having one hydrogen is there so this part converted as a aldehyde ch3cho remaining here this carbon having there is no hydrogen without hydrogen carbon converted as a always keto series here we get acetone and acetaldehyde acetone and acetaldehyde we get this product okay now say that products if it is ozonolysis so what we get in this process product c there also here breaking sort takes place here carbon having there is no hydrogen so this part converted as a ketone and this part also converted as a ketone here we get two moles of acetone series so common by product h2 o2 okay otherwise say this now in this process what is the product ozonolysis anyone try this if methyl cyclohexene it is nothing but methyl cyclohexene no anyone what is the correct product <laughs> That I U P A C name. This question is given. Already neat exam paper. Before you have neat the same question given. What is the product I U P A C name? Yeah. Message for him. Okay, see. Now here carbon. So here carbon having hydrogen is there tetravalency. So what I have given according to ozone analysis directly how do we can say the product where the double bond is there if the carbon having hydrogen is available the type of that part converted as a aldehyde. if there is no hydrogen the part converted as a keto the part converted as a keto see this here breaking sort takes place after this breaking we get so this carbon converted as a aldehyde cho because having hydrogen availability now here c s3 as it is now here this carbon converted as a keto 
where the double bond is there, so that carbon, here this carbon having, there is no hydrogen, so it is converted as a keto. This is converted as a aldehyde. It is the final product. What is the IUPAC name of this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six keto. Sixth carbon having keto. Six keto or oxo. So, total number of carbons are seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hep. Heptanol. Heptane is replaced by all. Heptanol. First, the priority is given by chain terminating functional group CHO. Six keto heptanol. That is the correct IUPAC name. Okay, this is called what we can say ozonolysis process. Okay, ozonolysis process, we can say the directly products. Okay, objective point of C. Now, next one. Now, Okay, simply one more process is given already before based on dehydrogenation, removal of hydrogen. By hydrogenation. Okay, before also given if the alcohol series. CH3, CH2, OH. If the primary alcohols are passed through, the vapors are passed through red hot copper cube, approximately at 573 Kelvin's temperature. Here, dehydrogenation are takes place. See this. Here, two hydrogens are replaced as a H2. Remaining, we get corresponding aldehyde. Here we get ethanol. What we get? Ethanol. So, otherwise, if we can take secondary alcohols, see this. It is nothing but secondary alcohol, ethanol. It is nothing but one degree. It is a two propanol. It is nothing but two degree. Okay, it is also passed through red hot copper cube. The vapors are passed through red hot copper cube. There also dehydrogenation takes place. Dehydrogenation. Otherwise, based on that, we can say dehydrogenation, removal of hydrogen. So now, there also it is removed as a H2. Okay, we get here, so corresponding ketone, propanol, see this. So based on this process, we prepare the aldehydes as well as ketones. Now, fifth one from alkynes, see this from all kinds based on hydration method, hydration. So by using all kinds, carbon-carbon triple bond, based on hydration method, hydration series, by the addition of water, if the alkynes are hydration, we get corresponding carbonyl compounds. Here, first thing, what is the first alkyne ethyl? The first alkyne is a ethyl. 
if the ethyl hydration we get aldehydes through molecular rearrangement except ethyl except the ethyl remaining all alkynes gives or produce corresponding ketones through molecular rearrangement okay for example say if i have taken ch triple bond ch ethyl series ch triple bond ch it is called ethyl okay plus water h plus and oh minus hydration combines with water in the presence of 40% h2so4 and 1% hgso4 by using this mixture okay here 40% h2so4 and 1% hgso4 at 60 to 70 degrees celsius generally this mixture here acts as a catalyst indirectly because so generally with respect to hydration water the reactions are somewhat slow that's why here we take indirectly this mixture the sulfuric acid and nitric sulfate mixture 40% sulfuric acid and 1% hgso4 when we take this mixture if it is hydration takes place series now we are first thing the triple bond converted as a double bond okay here no problem anyway one carbon bonded hydrogen next carbon bonded oh we get first this intermediate say this generally here if we are observed this carbon having left side double bond is there it is one of the functional group same carbon having here oh group is there that is also one of the functional group if the carbon surrounded more than one functional groups are present more than one the type of compounds are unstable through molecular rearrangement it is also referred as a here tata merism it is also referred as a through molecular rearrangement that is also called tata merism Atomers also formed by through molecular rearrangement only. So how do this molecular rearrangement see this? Now here, one hydrogen moves towards this carbon that is converted as a CH3. The double bond converted as a single bond. Then we get CH4. See that? This is called molecular rearrangement. What we can say? Molecular rearrangement. so here hydrogen move towards this carbon so now in this process we get ethanol this also referred as a tata merism simply the molecular rearrangement is called tata mers now if except ethyl see this not except ethyl remaining produce ketones except ethyl remaining produce ketones see this example if i have taken ch3 c triple bond ch okay propyl propyl same hydrolysis combines with the water so in the presence of 40% h2so4 
and one percent H is the SO four. See this. So at sixty to seventy degrees Celsius, approximately. There also see here triple bond converted as a double bond. Now here the additions are takes place according to Markovnikov rule. Okay, here the addition takes place according to Markovnikov rule. What about the negative part bonded with here middle carbon and H bonded with the remaining carbon through the that satisfy the tetra valency. Okay, then. See middle carbon surrounded middle carbon. So here right side double bond is there and down here alcohol is there. So I have given same carbon having two functional groups are there. It is a alcohol. It is a double bond. The type of compounds are unstable. It is also through molecular rearrangement. See this. It is also through molecular rearrangement. That is nothing but Tata Mason. So now in this process, say this hydrogen moving towards next carbon, then the double bond converted as a single bond. After that, here O is there. That is converted as a double bond. This is called a ketone. That is nothing but ketone. That is nothing but ketone. Say this. By using alkynes, we prepare carbonyl compounds, aldehydes and ketones. Both are prepared based on from alkynes only. So, out of alkynes, the first alkyne ethyne. Ethyne. There is also nothing but acetylene. The ethyne is also called acetylene. Acetylene gas. So, that is the common name. If that is hydration, so through molecular rearrangement, we get the corresponding aldehydes. Except the first alkyne, remaining all alkynes, whatever that, propyl, butyl, pentyl. So you take any alkyne. If hydration takes place according to Markovnikov rule through molecular rearrangement. We get the corresponding ketones. If I have taken propyl, we get the propanone. If we can take butyl, we get the butanone. Pentyl, pentanone. All we get ketones only. But the first alkyne only we get the aldehydes. So it is also one of the important preparation of carbonyl compounds. Now see next. One more sixth preparation. Okay, more supplements. Of copper at 573 kilowatts. Approximately, I have given that. Okay, another screenshot of you, sir.
Dehydrogenation, then we get oleic, ethanol, ethanol. Second one, series. So, two propanol, it is a two degrees. Say, red hot copper cube at 570 degrees, 670 approximately. At the temperature, what we get? Propanol. Propanol. So, one minute. Let's see next to it. So next one only for object two. Calcium salts of carboxylic acids. Which one? Fifth one or sixth one? From calcium salts of oxalic. Acid six to one. See from calcium salts of calcium salts of carboxylic acids. This process is also called pyrolysis or dry distillation. See this pyrolysis or dry distillation. So pyrolysis or dry distillation by using calcium salts of carboxylic acids we prepare the aldehyde and ketones okay what about calcium salts of carboxylic acids what about that Calcium salts of carboxylic acids means first of all, say this if we can take calcium formate, calcium acetate. So CH3, COOH, CH3, COOH. Now here. The salt means what about that? If we can take sodium salt of carboxylic acid, then the H2 acid, the hydrogen replaced by Mu. That is that is called sodium acetate. CH3COO Mu. Sodium acetate. Okay, here generally we can take this is minus, this is a plus. Sodium acetate. Na plus Cl minus like that. Okay, now. Here calcium salt means now calcium valency two, calcium valency two. Because of that reason here two acids required. This is called calcium acetate. It is a acetic acid salt, calcium acetate. Like the calcium formate. For example, calcium formate, formic acid. 
HCO, OH, formic acid. Okay, we can take the two moles of formic acid, both hydrogens are replaced by calcium. See this. This is called calcium formate. This is a salt of carboxylic acid. That is a salt of carboxylic acid. Calcium formate because it is obtained from formic acid. Now, when it is heated, that is called pyrolysis or dry distillation. So, calcium formate is dry distillation. It gives dry distillation. This is nothing but we can say dry distillation. So, it is decomposed. It is decomposed as a corresponding stable compound see this this total decomposed as a like this so that is replaced as a calcium carbonate that is a limestone plus remaining hcoh that is nothing but hcho it is called formaldehyde what we get formaldehyde see that now See, if you can take calcium acetate, acetic acid, CH3, COOH. Okay, I will take one more, CH3, COOH, acetic acid. The calcium salt of acetic acid means here both hydrogens are replaced by calcium. It is nothing but calcium acetate it is a salt of carboxylic acid now when we are dry distillation dry distillation this is also nothing but pyrolysis pyrolysis means which are oxygen we are breaking so it is breaking as a series as a calcium carbonate limestone remaining series CH3, CO, CH3. We get here acetone. It is nothing but propanone. Propanone. Acetone or propanone series. The first calcium formate give formaldehyde. Remaining all are give generally ketones. Getting there. Otherwise, if you can take so an equal equimolar mixture of equimolar mixture of calcium formate and other homologous. If I have taken see this H C O O H C O O calcium formate. It is nothing but calcium formate plus remaining any homologous series next calcium acetate CH3 CO CH3 COO it is nothing but calcium acetate now these are Dry distillation. This process also the breaking side takes place. So same breaking CaCO3, there also CaCO3. Here we get two moles of CaCO3. Okay, remaining products see that. So remaining what are the products, main products? We get CH3CHO series. CH3CO combined with here hydrogen because so class product CH3COH, CH3CHO. There also CH3CHO, two moles of acetaldehyde. See, there we get acetaldehyde. Here, except the calcium formatting.